Hello friends. So uh, today's topic is to have set up a sonar cube code analysis with GitHub Action. As we uh, validate a uh, React project in the last video using uh, React application, we set up a GitHub Action uh, workflow. Uh, whenever some code change commit to GitHub. GitHub action will automatically trigger a workflow and that setup will automatically deploy a additional or new project, a new source code to ECS. So in this uh, topic, we are going to set up a sonar cube, which uh, is responsible for analyze the code and um, it is widely uh, managed tool for software code quality. So basically uh, in this scenario, uh, we need to have one kind kind of code quality tool to validate each and every uh, page or a functionality which is developed by the developer. So once this code quality perform on the source code level, then after successfully integrate so this is the basically part of continuous integration when we talk about the devops life cycle ci cd so basically this um, video is uh, dedicated to the ci part which is called continuous integration and whenever we create or push new changes in additional branch and then we'll go for the pull request to our main branch or master branch then this workflow will be triggered so in this scenario i have set up one sonar cubes uh, server with ubuntu 22 if you want to learn uh, install and uh, sonar cube with ubuntu this is the link for the setup or uh, a digital ocean link you just need to just download the source code, uh, sonar cube source and just unzip it create a database you can set up using po uh, mysql postgresql so you just need to create one user and uh, then just need to browse using port number 9000 or else you can set up nginx reverse proxy like in this uh, document for that you just need to proxy pass uh, port number 9000 so i have set up one so, uh, server with port number 9000 and in which i have prepared one pro project called react only so this is my url for the sonar cube now i'm just navigating to main uh, part of this uh, video this is my uh, the repository which i used in the last video as well so in the last video i have uh, valid create a workflow for the to deploy the source code to ecs by using ecr now in this scenario we are going to perform only integration part so I have created one workflow file uh, called sonarcube.yaml. If you want to have use action, GitHub action for sonarcube, you can navigate to the action button and uh, create a new workflow. You just need to type sonarcube and this is the ready-made workflow for the sonarcube. You just need to configure. So I already configured this workflow. This is the workflow file, uh, which is YAML file. So I have already YAML file. So I'm just navigate to that file and I upload it to master branch. So this is my workflow file. I have triggered this request on pull request only. You can put push, pull or the pull request for to trigger this activity. So I have uh, set up on pull request with the branch called master branch. So as far as if this master branch uh, 
any new pull request on master branch occurred this workflow will be run so it will first analyze the uh, latest ubuntu latest which is the inbuilt uh, workflow or we can say the runner which is provided by github action first of all it analyze the sonar cube using this uh, th this is the basic template for this sonar cube action you will get the uh, this use here we need to pass three environment first one is github token uh, github token as we uh, we can generate using github sonar token for to generate the sonar token you just need to navigate to administration security users admin No, open uh, sorry I just uh, navigate to my account security uh, and here you can generate a new token we'll just name of the token paste and you need to select a global project or the user token so in this scenario I just use global and I have put expiration for uh, 30 days so this is the token token is something like this this is the token and third one is uh, sunar host url url is called http colon double slash and this ip address colon 9000 so i create all three all three secrets variable under this project you can create under settings secrets and variables and actions you, here you can see gt token sonar host url project uh, project key we don't require we pass project key directly on the yaml file and sonar token so now again navigate to the yaml file So now with using this environment it will um, ask for the project key so here I pass react so when you create the project it create a projects and uh, project key so here I use react if you want to create a new one using create a manually here you can see the project name and the key in this scenario I use project and project key as a react only so I pass this as a react so this is my yaml file basically now I am going to create one new pull request I'm just closing this existing one close I'm navigate to pull request new pull request master I choose a master as a branch for the uh, to trigger the new workflow and it com I compared it with main so there are some 353 files so I'm create a pull request and create so this is again I'm telling uh, that it is a part of continuous integration and if you want to uh, deploy or delivery with the uh, CD with any of the environment you can add the workflow which we already discussed on the previous video uh, that deploy the uh, de delivery on the ECR and using ECR repository uh, we set up the ECS container on the ECS services so this is the workflow the setup uh, the job build this and it will use this uh, de default uh, all the details which we provide here you can we can see the execution is completed now i'm just navigate to my this
here you can see the latest pull request is passed all the things are passed because I use the default uh, react source code if you have the source code with having uh, customization and other stuff here you can get more details here all the things are passed uh, like new, no new bugs, no new vulnerabilities, no new security checks, no new uh, code smells so apart so this is the new just recent uh, which is I just uploaded on October 27, 8, 10 okay before just one minute so this is the workflow using that workflow you, you can apply the analysis using sonar cube so this is the part of the continuous integration it's not uh, still i uh, merge that particular pull request with master so we can merge that request let me merge this also you can deploy with Vorsal. Uh, I applied this application with Vorsal. So Vorsal is uh, as we already have the video on the Vorsal part. You can deliver directly. Uh, you can integrate directly GitHub back, GitHub with Vorsal. So this is my uh, default part. So I'm going to merge this. So this is merge and successfully close. So this is a way where we can uh, just. Uh, applied a workflow use it to analyze react source code with sonar cube hope you guys like uh, the videos so thank you for watching and subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much